Word Mafia. I just love the idea that canonically Hurley is like one of the toughest on the island. He just he's so peaceful he doesn't want to hurt anyone. Yeah. I didn't do nothing. He just hawked down on me. For no reason at all. I like how they're all like Hurley. I mean, well, sorry, what the fuck did you do? A nice long giggle. But steer clear. The man is crazy. I think they choreographed the fight on the spot too. He's like, I'm gonna crawl out and you're gonna pull me back in. <laughs> Where are you going? Back to the caves. No one lives there anymore, so it won't bother anybody. If you don't live alone, be one of those guys. You know, the crazy guys. With a big beard and no clothes, who's naked and throws duty at people. Harley, you don't have to do this. You can't help me. No one can. You're not letting anyone help you, really, actually. Get out of here! Sorry, dude. I am here. I like making my grandpa Tito laugh. I like chicken. Well, that last one wasn't about you, Hugo. I like that I like chicken. <laughs> she didn't say anything about the way you look. Are you comfortable with your appearance? If I, uh, wasn't so fat, they never would have died. There were 23 people on that deck. It was built to hold eight, and it would have collapsed whether you went out there or not. Yeah, but I did walk out there, and it did collapse, and I killed it. It was an accident. That was my fault. But after those people died, you were in a practically catatonic state. You stopped talking, you stopped going out, you stopped sleeping, but you never stopped eating, because that's how you punish yourself. Dave's right about you. Dave doesn't want you to lose weight, does he? You know, Dave cares about me. He's my friend. I'm going to show you something that may upset you. This is the uh, photo that I took for the bowling board. Dave isn't your friend, Hugo, because Dave doesn't exist. See that coming? Yeah. You're a hallucination. Ow. Was that a hallucination? Yes. Maybe I just imagine you slapped me. Ow! Damn it! We could do this all night. <laughs> Picture from the rec room. My arm was around like nothingness. Uh, Kinko's Photoshop. Polaroid. What, you think they really blew up the Death Star? Yeah, Polaroid. No. I mean, stop talking crazy, man. Come on, I'm on the clock here. How are you going to Photoshop with... Kinkos. It's on film. It's a good action. Anyway. He took a Polaroid of the photo show. <laughs> he like took a Polaroid picture of a screen. <laughs> I'm surprised that they're not treating him for that. For what? Hallucinations. Yeah. That's what the clause of, of mean, whatever it's called. Is for. But then he was taking it. Before, he only stopped taking it recently, and he said he's been seeing Dave, like, well. Maybe you need a stronger dose, or it's more than that. Okay, man, you got the keys on, right? You took them off Brooks' desk earlier. <laughs> Come on, man, open it, open it. Oh, can you taste that? That is freedom, baby. You know what tastes even better than freedom? on me. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. You're not real. You're trying to get me to run away and get cheeseburgers because I want cheeseburgers. Did you take those pills, man? Nah, man, I'm just not coming. Look, you don't want me to get better. You don't want me to change. Ch you don't need to change, man. You are fine. You're great. No, I'm not. You just want me to stay fat. You don't want me to get better. You, you wouldn't care if I ate myself to death. Do not do this, man. If you don't come with me right now, you will never get out of here. Bye, Dave. You wouldn't happen to have my slipper, would you?
Thank you. Oh, man. You got peanut butter on it. Okay, look. I know you're freaking out right now, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's going to get a little worse before it gets better. Worse? Yeah, kind of. You remember that night you closed that window on me? You remember what you did after that night? I realized you were imaginary. That was a breakthrough. A little while later, Brooks sent me out, and I went home to live with my mom, and I got my job at Mr. Klux back. And I got better. Okay, good. Great. Yeah. Except, see, here's the thing. Uh, none of that ever happened. You're still at Santa Rosa, man. You never left the hospital. That's not possible. It's hard. I know. But, I mean, all this, you, me, this island, that peanut butter, none of it's real, man. The second you closed that window, your brain popped a gasket. You went back into your little coma thing, and that's where you are right this very second. In your own private Idaho, inside Santa Rosa. So? I won the lottery! Whoa! Wow! Awesome, dude! What numbers did you play? Leonard's numbers, right? From the hospital? What a coincidence. You, uh, seen him around anywhere else? The hatch. Bingo! The hatch. With the button that you gotta push every 108 minutes or the world ends. Oh, 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 and, and what's the code for the button? Oh, yeah. The numbers. Take a look at yourself. You've been on a deserted island for over two months and you haven't dropped 10 pounds. How is that even possible, man? I just destroyed my stash. I've been exercising. Libby says it won't happen overnight. Oh, right, right, Libby. A mega cute blonde chick who magically appeared from the other side of the island. Oh, yeah, and who just happens to have the hots for you. Like how they're kind of addressing, like, literally everyone's concerns, like, yeah, this is not happening. <laughs> the real me, the one they told you was imaginary, he went out that window, man. Right now, he's probably bouncing from hot chick to hot chick. Unlike me, who's really you, who's got more important things to do. I'm part of your subconscious, man. All the people on this island are. What part of me are you? I'm the part of you that wants to wake up, man. This is it, dude. It's the big finale. <laughs> the answer to all your problems. I don't want to kill myself. Who said anything about killing yourself, man? This is going to bring you back to life. The only way for you to bust out is to tell your mind that you don't believe any of this. And when you do wake up, come find me. I'm sure I miss you. I've seen another life early. What do you think? Oh man, Hermie. <laughs> is all this fake? Because no. Hurley just couldn't kill himself. I hope not. No. Hurley, don't kill himself. What's your name? Why don't you just keep calling me Henry? This place is a joke. John, the time I went all the way down to zero. And then some funny red pictures flipped up in its place. They looked like hieroglyphics. But I'm no expert. And there was a loud clunking and a hum like a magnet, a big magnet. It was really very frightening. Nothing happened, John. Your time would just slip back to 108. Mm. I never entered the numbers. You're lying. No, I'm done lying. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> How'd you know where I was? I didn't saw you why he was fishing. Ha! Ah! She didn't speak English. Sam was with him. She translated. <laughs> what is going on? No! You're just a part of me that's scared. You don't want me to wake up. Well, guess what? I'm not scared. Okay. Okay, Hurley. You're having some sort of panic attack. Hurley. Please. You're gonna hurt yourself. No! I'm not! 
Because this isn't happening. None of it. I'm just imagining it. This isn't real life. Why would you say that? Because in real life, no girl like you would ever like me. You remember when I said I knew you from somewhere? Well, maybe it's because I made you up. The day of the crash, on the other side of the island, Echo brought a man with a broken leg to me for help. What was his name? I don't know. Because it happened to me. I buried a lot of people, Hurley. So don't tell me that that wasn't real. And don't tell me you made me up. It's insulting. When you saw me on the beach this morning, was I holding a slipper? Not that I can remember, no. I am real. The way I feel about you, that's real. Do one more time. <laughs> Just to be sure. Why don't you get a little closer together? Take it. Dave. How do I phrase that last mystery there? <laughs> Libby. I mean, I guess just why was she in the hospital with me? Like, what was she there for? But I mean, that's why he, like, she looks familiar to him. Yeah, he mentioned that the first time they hung out in the full episode. She seemed familiar. She changed the subject. So, what'd you think of Dave? The episode, not the, <laughs> not the person, not the guy, not the dude. <laughs> oh man, it's like such a heartbreaking episode. Oh, this is one of my favorite Hurley episodes because yeah. it really gets into what his deal is. Mm. His like mindset about himself, mm. why he feels so insecure. How he heard the numbers. Well, we already knew that. We, 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 we knew it, but we saw it. Oh, yeah. And also, it kind of, you know, he blames himself for those people dying. And he blames himself every time something bad happens because of the numbers. So, are the num is this more evidence that the numbers aren't a thing? And it's just Hurley blaming himself for everything? It can be both. Both can be true. Okay. You mentioned that they addressed a lot of things people have been suspecting or thinking about, like uh, oh. Hurley maintaining his weight. That was a real complaint people had, that it didn't make sense for him to not lose weight. But like I said, he did lose a little weight, but then they found food. <laughs> oh, I uh, when I made that comment, I uh, I was like thinking about like um, just like haters or something, or like just mm. uh, like they probably said all that just like addressing, like, the yeah, criticism of the show and stuff like oh, that. And those were criticisms, yes. Yeah, like, oh, this is all a dream. It's all made up. It's like, no, it's not. Yeah. We're not going to do that. Don't worry. And it's also, kind of thing. they've been on the island for two, maybe three months. It gets vague. Uh, he could theoretically lose a lot of weight in that time. But how do you... Because they're filming... The characters have been on it for about three months. But they've been filming the show for two years. Oh. How do you, in real life, lose the correct amount of weight episode to episode to maintain continuity, you know? It's a real life yeah. thing you can't... He could have tried to lose... I'm sure he did try to lose weight. But, uh, I mean, if you lose too much weight too quickly, it's weird. If you stay the same, it's weird. So they just went with it's the same. and It's because he's been hoarding food. So it is kind of reframe the hatch and, and the food drop as being about Hurley, when really we think it's something else. I mean, the last episode, Lockdown, it's just a thing that, like, oh, the, 
the, the hatch has the numbers, mm -hmm. and they get food via drops. But from Hurley's perspective, I, I've been looking for these numbers. These numbers are here in this hatch. I get rid of my food. Food falls from the sky. <laughs> you know, it's hard to think it doesn't revolve around him. Yeah. From his perspective, yes. He's surrounded by bad luck, and he gets he crashes on this island, you know? When you look at it like that, you can kind of get why he would believe that. Yeah. And maybe it is true. It's weird, you know? Could this all be happening in Hurley's head? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think also, um, like, with Hurley being as insecure as he is, and even though he got out and, like, yeah, he said he got a lot better, like, yeah, I mean... Rejecting Dave there was a big step. Yeah, but, you know, like, you're on a deserted island. <laughs> like, I, I don't blame you that your issues are coming back up. <laughs> Kind of thing, you know, like sure. All right, like I I can understand why he's now seeing Dave again, you know. So and especially when he's having such issues with like Libby and mm -hmm. confront and like uh, dealing with his own feelings about Libby and himself and himself, yeah. The the math doesn't check out on his end. Like, why does she like me? That doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. And then. The part about, um, yeah, I don't know, this this episode is just heartbreaking too, because like, the, the part about like, the, when the doctor was like, you eat, you didn't stop eating, you did, you stopped doing everything else, but you never stopped eating, because that was like his way of punishing himself, and then, oh man, that's like, ah, it, it's really heartbreaking to hear, like, because it, it's like such a, I think it can be, it's a really relatable problem for probably a lot of people. Like, they have, like, a lot of, like, especially with, like, eating disorders or, like, just, yeah. like... It's not know. like it, I don't think it's an impulse thing, it's like a compulsion. He has to eat. It's not a, I'm hungry, mm -hmm. so I'm going to eat, I need to eat. It's, I have to eat because I'm I'm existing right now. That and, you know, it's, food addiction is a real thing. Yeah. And, like, it is an addiction. It's just like any other, like, yeah, drug that yeah. there is. Like, he's not doing it because, like... He just, he's just hungry, yeah, like, it's his relationship with food that makes him dependent on food, and then add to the fact that he's using food because he feels so ashamed of himself to punish himself and stay, stay fat, like, it's because also, he, yeah, he doesn't feel like he deserves to get better, you know? Like, yeah, but it's also this history that kind of informs why no one believes him about the numbers. Mm. He saw things. Yeah. He, he does have this His eating food. disorder that's not directly connected to numbers, but to the layman, it's like, well, you were in the mental hospital for this, then this is just part of that, you know? Which is why he was also frustrated when people who don't know he was in a mental hospital tell him it's crazy, or say that he's acting crazy. Mm -hmm. He's like, no, I'm not. I, 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 they let me go. <laughs> I got better. I got better. Yeah. I'm not crazy anymore. This is real. <laughs> you know, we're introduced to that, to the, to the number stuff, before this stuff. So we're on, like, Hurley's side, like, no, you're right, this is weird, you're not crazy. But, I mean, you know, now he's seeing Dave, who con almost convinced him to kill himself. Yeah, that's why I was like, wow, this, this episode was, like, really heartbreaking, because it's, like, it's himself convincing himself to kill himself, you know, like... Yeah. Or his subconscious, at least, like, telling him, like, he can't deal with this. He can't, like, this reality is so, like... So you think it, Dave... Well, it's established that the Dave he saw in the hospital was his own mind. Yeah. Like Trixel. Do you think that the Dave he saw on the island was also that? Yeah. I or was think. is it like Jack's dad or Kate's horse? <sighs> yeah, see, that's hard, because, like... I don't, like, now that, like, they presented that information about Libby, like, and then because he asked her, like, did you see me holding a slipper? Mm -hmm. And she was like, no, I didn't see it. Like, she could be lying. Or she she did, but or, why did she retain that information? Yeah. She didn't think it was weird that he would be um, you know. Yeah, so it was like, I don't know, like, but... Yeah, I don't, it's hard because 
I, I still don't know. We still have, they still haven't addressed, yeah, like the horse thing and the Jack's dad thing. And yeah, yeah Jack's dad never came back up again, so. Yeah. Like, and we already know Jack's dad is dead, so it's like. Yeah. I mean, yeah, is, is it crazier for a dead guy to show up or an imaginary guy to show back up, you know? I would say dead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, yeah, but is it the same thing from before or is this a new thing? We don't really know for sure. Yeah, because I'm trying to think, like, what powers does the island have? Because it's like, I mean, yeah, if, if they can produce a dead guy, why not an imaginary person? But then it's like, then how? Yeah, I don't know. Well, Sawyer thought that the boar attacking him was somehow the man he killed in Australia. That's why he was trying to hunt him. The boar kept destroying stuff, and he was hearing mm. the, his last words. So he thought there was a connection there. And Kate thought that her father was talking through Sawyer. Uh, he's like, why did you kill me? Why did you kill me? And he was all fevery. Mm. So, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's dead people that are coming back or just the past that's mm. coming back. You know? Or if any of it's real. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't... It could also just be like maybe they're real in that moment like it's like like it like the island manifests like their past in like like you can touch yeah. it okay. but then like physical mirages kind of like it could be that and but the but that only lasts like a certain amount of time and that's why like they keep disappearing yeah like like it yeah. doesn't have a pot like juice or whatever to like keep that manifestation. I mean, uh, uh, Shannon saw Walt multiple times. Well, Walt's a real person, though. But he's not really there. Yes. Or is he? Well, actually, <laughs> we don't know that, so we don't know anything. People are seeing things. They're hearing things. Yeah. So, uh, like, it's hard to say right But Dave now. Is, is the most different, because he was never real. Yeah. Uh, Jack's dad, uh, the man Sawyer killed, Kate's dad. Like we know they're real. We're real. The horse was real, not necessarily dead. Yeah, we don't know if the horse is dead or not. So, what are the rules? <laughs> yeah, that's why I, like, I'm, I'm more inclined to say that like it was, like, it's, it's Dave inclined. was just, like, it was a lot of Hurley's just, like... Which is the most logical explanation. Just, well, Dave, you, saw, you start seeing Dave again because this is a crazy situation, you know, food yeah. is coming, the food is becoming an issue again. Yeah. Up till now, food was not really an issue. It was more, there is no food, I need to find food. There's a lot of food, but I'm more worried about how this is going to affect my relationship with people. Not that I have a food craving thing. Mm -hmm. But now that the food is just here to stay, and it's not a problem of who gets what anymore, it's triggering the Dave stuff. I think also his feelings for Libby is triggering the that Dave too. stuff. Because now he's like thinking about his weight and like a girl he likes. How, what's the catch? What's the, yeah, like what's the trick? Is, like, she's never going to like someone, like, like she's never going to like me being fat. So now that triggers his, like, yeah, his food, his insecurity with food and stuff. So, like, his negative imaginary friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, it's not a stretch to be like, Dave's back. <laughs> Exa exactly. That is the most likely explanation, but this is lost, so you gotta... Yeah. Well, yeah, that's why I'm like... I gotta include... Because uh... what? I think when the show ended, I forget, some website... Did a list of 100 mysteries that was never answered. And the, what was Dave was like one of the questions. And people were like, what? What do you mean? We just do explanation. <laughs> he saw Dave before. You seeing him again. That seems like an answer, you know? So I got to write down just to prove to the people who say lost don't answer questions. This has an answer. <laughs> he saw Dave before. He saw him seeing him again, you know? Yeah, and like like you said, right? Like, yeah, what are the rules? So it's like if like there has to be rules to this. Otherwise, like it it will feel like they're just making shit up on this. On Otherwise, the I wouldn't like this shit. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> so like, yeah, of course there has to be rules. We just don't know what the rules are yet. So like, if Kate, like if more people than not are seeing things from their past that have been real, they're just dead. Or I mean, so you saw the horse. Yeah. Said saw. Yeah, Waltz. And exactly. So like. These things are real, and like we're real people and like animals, like, and then yeah, multiple people are seeing them. Mm. 
Like that they're seems- They're actually there. Yeah, there, that seems more like the rule than just an instance of Hurley seeing someone he saw before the island that yeah. was imaginary or like a hallucination. And now he's just, and then now like, cause like, you know, if, if Hurley had been seeing Dave since he got on the island, then I could, I would be like, oh, maybe I'm more, it's, it's more so on the, like the rest the of crash. Them. He's like, you started seeing then. Yeah. Um, but because like, it's only getting triggered now when Libby's here and then the food dropped, yeah. like it's specific triggers. Yeah. Whereas with the rest of them, there wasn't really a specific trigger. That Food like, and self images, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like with the rest of them, right? Like, I mean, they were, they have these issues, but there was no specific trigger for. Or there's no history. Yeah, like there was no history there. Like, yeah, of seeing things. Yeah. So it's more, it's more likely that the rule of that. That Dave is, some, is, is, is not part of yeah, that. Yeah, it's not part of the rule. Yeah. It's over here. Yeah. Okay, yep, yeah, that's totally makes sense. Last bit of mystery is, uh, how did no one see the plane? <laughs> yeah, right. It was nighttime. Yeah. It, there was a plane over the island. Nothing. <laughs> no one even knew it was there. They, figured, they don't even know if there was a plane. They just know that this thing dropped. Except for Sawyer. Sawyer saw it. He said he saw it. No, he joked. He said, he said, no, he said I saw it. I just didn't tell anybody. Yeah, that was him saying being sarcastic. Oh, I thought he was... Because if he saw a plane, he would have told someone. You know, he's saying like, yeah, I saw That's why, that's why I just decided not to tell anyone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's being I couldn't tell he was being sarcastic. Yeah, he's being sarcastic. No one saw the plane. They didn't even know if it was a plane. They just know that this food dropped onto the island. They didn't hear nothing. They didn't see nothing. Mm. But if you could see it, or if, if you can't, if the, it's like an invisible plane or something, then why do they bother with the blast doors and the hatch? You know? If the goal is to keep them away from seeing the plane, then why lock down? Mysteries. <laughs> um, well, but then at the time, right, like, the, the, the people bringing the food probably, like, they don't, they might not know that people have been crashing on this island randomly. Like, because if they still think that the initiative is going on, then the only people on the island would be the people in the hatch, the hatches. So. Yeah. Like, and the people in the hatches would probably know that food is getting dropped to them. Like, how else would it be dropped? Yeah. It's either a boat or a plane. Like, they're not dumb. Like, <laughs> but they just don't want them to know where it's coming from. So, yeah, I would. Could be an angle Like, thing. that's why, like, the blast doors come because it's like, who else is on the island except for the people in this hatch, like... Or, they don't want them to know it's a flying saucer dropping off the food. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alien. <laughs> but yeah, like, that, that, I mean, that makes sense, like, that, that part makes sense, like, with the, ha uh, the blast doors closing. Um, they don't want anyone to know because they might still think like the people dropping off the food might still think they're working on it. Like, yeah. Because why wouldn't they? We don't know. Like yeah, how we would they know? know? <laughs> like I'm pretty sure the people flying the plane are not like the higher ups of the Dharma Initiative, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Like they're just yeah, doing yeah. their job. Like uh, we're just they told us to drop food off on this place. Like. Every couple months, like, I'm just fucking flying this plane, dude. Like, I'm, mm, <laughs> right? Like, they don't, they probably don't. <laughs> uh, things aren't looking good for Henry. He's now not even, he's either hanging on the wall or he's tied in, like, I know, I was position. like, whoa, that's, like, intricate. <laughs> I mean, for good reason. Side bait almost just killed him. He would have killed him if Anna Lucia didn't stop him. I don't blame Saeed. Yeah. Literally, like, trying to lie about everything. And he blames them collectively for Shannon's death. I mean, they kind of did. I mean, he seems to, he does not blame Anna Lucia at all. No. He's like, you were a victim just as much as anyone else here. It's these guys, and this guy's not telling me anything, so I'm just going to kill him. I mean, yeah, kind of because, like, if, like, yeah, he knows that, like, 
what else is he going to get out of him? He already knows he's lying, and, like, he can't really trust anything else he says because he's going to keep lying. So it's like, what use do I have for him? None. So, therefore, boom, dead. And, like, what else, like, I'm, whether he's alive or dead, I'm not going to get any more information, so may as well. It's, it's like, uh, what is it called? Tying up, a, like, a loose knot. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> uh, fun little... Well, I don't know if it's fun, but interesting. I don't know if it's interesting. Here's a little factoid. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that went downhill really quickly. The, uh, the armory, mm -hmm. when it was originally made, was just a closet. You can see in the first episode, uh, Desmond runs in to grab a gun when, he, when they blow off the hatch. It's a tiny little closet room. And then they needed to empty it, and so they had to make the room bigger. And then, oh, hey, he's, we're going to keep this guy Henry in there, the writers told the set designer. All right, so they, they took out the whole room and remade it wow. big enough to hold a guy. So, well, we got to have scenes in there so the camera has to fit in the room. So they said to redo it like wow. three or four times because they kept, they, the writers deciding we need this room for more stuff. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... What's the last bit of info here? Um, oh, of course. Henry saying he'd never put in the numbers. He didn't mm -hmm. enter the code. It just went back. To it, we, he saw the, the, the hieroglyphs, red. the yeah. red stuff, and then it just flipped back. What do you think? <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> so you think it's just... Uh, some kind of weird mind game experiment? Uh, maybe. Who knows? Like, I don't know. Or maybe it used to do something, but not anymore? Mm. Like, it was fixed, but no one told anyone? I mean, maybe we'll find out, because Lockwell is still in the I guess I mean, look. the dude has a way of getting into Locke's mind, so... That's true. I just thought of <laughs> the whole, yeah, Hurley and Sawyer fight is funny. Uh, Very... Yeah. Jin was like, <laughs> Jin just looked at them fighting for like a hot second, laughed, and then on his way to get Hurley off, was still laughing. Yeah, that yeah, was, right. that was, okay. yeah, that Come was so on, funny. Hurley. That was, I love that. That was so funny. <laughs> Kate was like, of all people, how do you get Hurley mad enough at you? Right? To, to f not only fight you, but win. <laughs> yeah. That, I, I like that you, uh, like, the, the actor that does, or that plays Sawyer was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to win that fight. Like, <laughs> do you see Hurley? Yeah, yeah you're not going to win that fight. Because the conventional thing, thinking is, well, he's Sawyer. He's a tough guy. He's been in many a bar fight before. That's why he got kicked out of Australia. <laughs> you know? And Hurley wouldn't hurt a fly. You know? He's, he's the jolly, good time Hurley. You know? Wants peace with everybody. Doesn't want to fight anybody. But that doesn't mean Hurley is, not is, strong. is tall. Yeah, he's big and he's strong. Yeah, we've seen him like lift stuff. He's he's a strong guy. Yeah, and I just love the idea that Hurley's the secret. Like, <laughs> you know, if you pit them against each other, like Sawyer's not winning, Jack's yeah, not it, winning. Saeed probably because he does he training. Might. You know, he's, he's he's a trained fighter, and Hurley is yeah. Really good. Like I think because yeah, because Sawyer and um, Jack probably don't have like the technique. Yeah. For that, but Saeed might. Yeah, he's literally trained. But, like, the fact that, like, because her, especially because Hurley tackled Sawyer, mm -hmm. like, he's already on top of him. Yeah. Like, you're not getting up, bro. <laughs> Unless Hurley gets up. Yeah, the part where he dragged him, like, Sawyer oh. was trying to get away, and then, like, Hurley just, like, flat. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. And it's funny that, like, no one believed Sawyer. Like, he just jumped me for no reason. And everyone was like, Sawyer, no, no, no. Tell me the truth. What the hell did you do to Hurley? <laughs> what did you say to Hurley? He's like, I didn't say shit, guys. Uh, that was pretty funny. And Libby... He deserved that. Yeah, when Libby came out, he said, I, I, you beat up Sawyer? <laughs> oh, so, yeah, you heard. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's not you got in a fight with Sawyer. You beat him up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say beat up. He just 
beat him. Like, he, yeah. Like, because he didn't, like, really punch him. He just kind of... He was kind of, like, yeah, he was wailing, because Hurley like, doesn't know how to fight. Yeah. He just got raw size and strength on him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yes, that's another reason why I love this episode. Just the confirmation, like, if Hurley wanted to, he could take pretty much anybody on this island. He's a big dude. Yeah. And I'm at- yeah, and he's tall. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, he's basically, like, is he taller than Sawyer? I, I think, think he, he is. I think he's taller than Sawyer. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, he's taller and he's bigger, like, wider. So, like, yeah, why would he's, Sawyer win? Yeah. I don't know if he's taller than Jack. I think I'm sure he's either the same height or yeah. taller than Jack. He's around there. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah he's he, he's one of the tallest people on the island. I wonder if, if he would win against Locke. Maybe not. Because Locke is also, he treated he training. He got, he no weapons? Like, if Locke doesn't have his knife... I think I'm going with Hurley. Really? Oh. Actually, that's, here's, a, here's a question for the comments. Hey, yeah. Not Jack, because Jack, Jack might lose, yeah. No, Jack but will lose. <laughs> if, yeah, if Hurley and Locke got in a fight, who no, do you think... No would, weapons, bare yeah, no hands. No weapons, just, just hands. Who do you think would win? Because... Yeah. Did, did, did Locke box? Did he do boxing? That hasn't been confirmed or anything. Uh, but he, you know, remember. he trained in a lot of stuff while he was in a wheelchair. Yeah. To prove that he could learn yeah. stuff. So, so that's why I'm like, he might. He knows a thing or two, but yeah. he mainly knows weapons, though. Mm. He knows knives and guns. I don't know how good he is hand to hand. I know he probably knows a lot about the human body, so he probably knows like weak points. Yeah. But he's not trained like Saeed. No. Saeed and Hurley. Saeed. Yeah. <laughs> but Locke is a more interesting. Right? Yeah. So yeah, I uh, let us know. Let us know in the comments. Like, who do you think yeah. would win? Hurley or Locke? Bare, just bare, bare hands. Bare hands. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Join us next week when we watch the next episode of Lost. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and but mostly to comment about who wins in the fight. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what you guys think. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>